Hi, this is Men of Server Boy UK again. Today I want to talk about reverse SSH tunnel. You look at the screen, uh, it's a simple draw of what we could do. We use SSH every day. Most of the time we access servers in the cloud to do administration, obviously. And in, in this case, it's usually that, that is my laptop with dynamic IP behind some firewall and AT to internet and then to your cloud server with static, static IP in the case I want to do the reverse meaning uh, I want to access something some machine behind some NAT firewall which is in this case the laptop for example which is obviously protected from your NAT firewall when you don't have a port forwarding enabled on your firewall so you can get back to your laptop or any machine hidden behind and get back meaning you are here you are somewhere else in the cloud in that case I actually could take up a tunnel um, which is using the dash big R of the SSH feature meaning I take a tunnel from my laptop to the cloud server with a static IP to start with and once the tunnel is there a session is opened and then when I somewhere or somehow sitting on top or any other processes are sitting on top of this remote cloud server that process can access the port which you dedicate in this case is 1234 which translates into the tunnel endpoint all the way back to that port of 22 of your remote or local host in in the original sense so that's the idea it's quite useful uh, you can imagine there's also a security concern when you take a tunnel like that you essentially allow anyone who know these things to get back to a protected environment behind any so-called firewall which essentially become useless because you have traffic being tunneled through and even in terms of any intrusion detection device it would see is a normal SSH or whatever even HTTP port 80443 it would just appears to be normal traffic so uh, many of the security uses could actually be uh, bypassed with tunnel now let's see how it works uh, in real life I just have it set it up uh, with a host in the cloud I am sitting on my own laptop so I dig this tunnel uh, saying on a re remote cloud host v151 and here you go so I have it set up like that so I have uh, the key there so I don't punch in anything get access so the tunnel is established and with that tunnel, if I sit on that V151, which I am on now, I could um, essentially do the same thing, which is to access port 2345, which is the endpoint I specify up there for this tunnel uh, at this cloud host. And I try to get back to my laptop where I initiate this connection and my laptop has a user ID and local host in that sense then I could get into my laptop so that's the idea hope you find this useful plus you could further imagination that you could actually have another dynamic IP host who can access this cloud server and build another tunnel to access that host so 
essentially having two dynamic IP hosts or endpoint to talk to each other via two tunnels with a hub in between and it's quite convenient isn't it so uh, you like it um, I guess many people like it or use it already but just that um, somehow I want to bring it out because it's quite useful and hope you like it thank you so much bye